I'm hoping you guys can see me today because we had a little bit of a technical difficulty yesterday. And I want to make sure that I can share this with everybody. What do we got here? Copy, copy, copy. Cool. So if you can see me, please let me know that you can see me and hear me so that we don't have the same problem that we had yesterday. I'm just going to share this on our Facebook because that's where we had the problems yesterday um, on our Facebook Live. So. We'll see if that uh, if that works. There we go. Okay, so got everybody letting them know what the heck we're doing here. We, hi Bob, woohoo! Uh, hey Miss Anna, good deal. So we are here. You guys can actually follow us. Um, I am gonna try and stay on this one as well. Okay. So we are going to talk about assess role pay. We're going to see if the, we can uh, go all the way through without any interruptions. That would be super duper awesome, unlike yesterday. <laughs> yes. Okay. So um, first of all, thanks for being here. My name is Jesse. I'm with Decker Truckline, uh, for those of you who don't know that. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the chat box right over here. Um, and I will get to those as quickly as possible. This is a little high, so there we go. Um, so I'll get to those as soon as possible. And of course, you can get a hold of any of our recruiters at 888-668-0698, as well as uh, going online at drivedecker.com. And you can fill it out there. So I'm going to get back to answering one of these questions here in just a moment about how much um, accessory pay was or averages out per mile. So we'll get uh, we'll get some more details on that. But in the meantime, if you were here for last week's um, YouTube and videos, uh, YouTube and, and Facebook, I guess, then you heard some of our new dedicated opportunities. So I just want to kind of hit on those, make sure that I'm addressing those right off of the bat. So again, um, Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything in the chat here. Yes. Okay, perfect. So a couple of our dedicated opportunities that we went over last week. I want to make sure that you guys know about that before we dive into our ancestral pay information. Uh, we have a Lamar's dedicated position. This is a home daily opportunity. So if you live in the Lamar's or um, Sioux City area, good opportunity for you. Uh, it's refrigerated and it runs back and forth between the Lamar's and Sioux Falls, South Dakota and usually about two to three times a day. Um, you are paid on a shift basis and they're 12 hour shifts. So you're looking at 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at 2.75 per shift or a 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. which pays, of course, night driving, pays $300 uh, for that shift. So if you're in for, or information, if you're interested in more information or if you live in the area, go ahead and give one of our recruiters a call at 888 six six eight zero six nine eight and the area you need to live in is lamar's or uh sioux city iowa area so sound good um needing this is a brand new opportunity so super new opportunity and um uh, it, it starts right away it is drop and hook um but there may be a little bit of um because it's new it might be a little bit of growing um curve there but we don't expect it to because it is a new opportunity where you're you're going to go um, deliver to one location, um, grab an empty and come back. So it's drop and hook real easy and smooth for you. It is, however, slip seating because we're on a shift basis, uh, 12 hours in, during the day, 12 hours at night, um, you're just gonna be swapping seats. So same truck and uh, getting into an, a new one, a different one, I guess. Getting into the same one, there we go. <laughs> Okay, so that's Lamar's out of Sioux Falls. Lamar's to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Okay, okay. Hey, Amy. Good to see you. I just saw that. Where's it at? Don't even. It was seven times yesterday. So Amy's giving me a hard time. We I tried to explain all of our accessory pay last or yesterday, and we got cut off 
oh my goodness, too many times. It's so ridiculous. So if you got an email from me today saying, you know, I tried th third or third tries a, tar a charm, supposedly. You said that, Amy. It was not. It was, uh, I just gave up. Anyways, so we're going to have some success on this one. So I'm going to celebrate a little bit. Bob's at IHOP. <laughs> some options. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so that Lamar's run that I'm talking about, this dedicated opportunity, um, this one does have a $2,500 sign-on bonus. Now, the sign-on bonus, you'll get $1,000 on first dispatch, pay, be paid in one lump sum there, and then you'll have the remaining $1,500 paid out to you at $250 for the next um, six months. So, awesome. I know, Bob. Right? So, home daily on that one. Uh, what am I missing on that? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, you do need to leave your your um, vehicle at the Lamar's or have a vehicle at Lamar's because you'll be taking, like I said, slip seating. You won't be taking the truck home with you on your home time. Cool. Cool. So other opportunities that we have, we have a another refrigerated. This one's home weekly and it's running out of Council Bluffs or the Omaha area. And it is delivering into parts of Illinois, parts of Wisconsin. You know, you could be through the house during the week sometime, but you're definitely home on the weekends. So um, for more information on that, let, you can, like I said, get a hold of one of our recruiters at 888-668-0698. Um, you can apply online, drivedecker.com, fill out the application there as well. Now, this is a lot of nighttime driving, this refrigerated position, and it does pay anywhere from 43 to 50 cents a mile, 10 cents of that's going to be per diem. And um, it, there is the $5,000 bonus that you'll get on your one year anniversary. You, you'll need to need a minimum of 110,000 miles in that one year to get that, that bonus. So um, pays that one pays in one lump sum all at once on your one year anniversary. Um, but where were we going? We were talking about uh, night driving. It's basically on a rotation. So week one, you're looking at Monday, Wednesday, Friday deliveries, and they're early AM deliveries. And then week two, you're looking at Thursday or Tuesday, Thursday deliveries for week two. And um, those are live, right? Is that right? Live unload deliveries. So you're gonna pick up preloaded trailers out of the Council Bluffs area and um, there'll be live unloads in, like I said, Illinois, Wisconsin areas. Yes, okay, so good point. So Miss Anna was making another point, sorry. <laughs> so I'm slowly reading, catching up on, on the chats here. Um, yes, if with these runs, a lot of them are under 400 miles, so then you'll get the extra cents per mile because we have the um, the short haul pay added in. So for that Midwest short haul pay, it's anywhere from two to 20 cents more per mile based off of the length of haul. So on the loaded side, you are paid on all dispatch miles loaded and empty, but the loaded side deliver determines the length of haul. And yes, the, the truck will go home with you on this uh, dedicated refrigerated that gets you home weekly. The truck will go home with you on your home time. And your home time, is, you know, is on the weekends, like we mentioned. Speaking of um, weekends, home time, with the Lamar's run that we were talking about, that one is going to have rotating um, days off. Like, you're going to be home every other day. But one weekend, you'll have the full weekend, like Saturday, Sunday off. And then the next weekend, it'll be like maybe Friday, Saturday off. And then the next weekend again, Saturday, Sunday, and then the next one, Sunday, Monday. So it'll be like partial weekends. I mean, you're still getting the two full days, but it'll be like a, a partial weekend for you. So good, good point on that one. Thank you. Okay. Am I missing anything? I'm trying to see. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna hit on a couple other opportunities that we have before we get, grab into that accessory pay. Um, yeah, so we have a Tifton dedicated, this is another dedicated opportunity, down in Tifton, Georgia. If you live within about a 30 to 50 mile radius, then you should be okay. It gets you home every other day and it runs a lot of the um, 
like Southern South Carolina, a lot of Alabama, Georgia, of course, and uh, Northern parts of Florida. So this is a Conestoga trailer. So a little bit different Conestoga trailer. Um, and we'll train you, we'll train you for that at our Bessemer, Alabama terminal. Now this one does have a guaranteed pay of $750 per week. Now you should be making about, um, now that, that's a, like a safety net for you, but you should be making a little over $1,000 a week based off of our miles in that division. And they do fluctuate. So with this position, they do fluctuate. That's why we have that guaranteed pay. So you're not going to go below that $750. Um, making sure, of course, that you're available for dispatch, that um, you've got on-time deliveries, your, um, oh, what else do I want to say there? Um, no driver driver service failures. So as long as you've got those, then you're going to get that $750 a week, um, whether you get it or not, whether you get the miles or not. However, if you get more miles, then you'll get the better of the two, the 45 cents a mile. Um, in addition to what or by the number of miles that you get. So most likely you'll be making more than that, but we've got that safety net. Now coming up through Christmas and New Year's, this Tifton plant that we haul out of, they are, they usually close down for two weeks. So you can run with our flatbed division during that time period. And of course you can run any of our flatbed loads to keep your miles up. So there could be some of that kind of woven in, but it is a dedicated position home every other day and on the weekends. So very good. I'm um, speaking down in the South in Bessemer. We have a local position and that one is, does require flatbed experience. So we want you to have flatbed experience for that, that position. Um, the position pays $17 an hour, um, obviously getting you home every day uh, since it is right there in Bessemer at our flatbed terminal. We do have some Saturdays that you would be working possibly, um, not guaranteed one way or the other, but uh, there could be some Saturdays. So I just want to make sure that you know that as well. And like I said, flatbed, we want to have experience because there's a lot of coils that we that we will need to have secured and everything. So that's the important part. And then a new, another new opportunity that came about um, last week is uh, for our Western division. Now you guys know that we do offer flatbed out of Washington, Oregon, and California, Long I-5 now, um, and we weren't before, but now we can get you home every two weeks in the California, Washington, and Oregon areas for our flatbed. Now, of course, we've got refrigerated in all of that. That's two weeks out as well. But if you live in Los Angeles, California, if you live in Seattle, Washington, Kennewick, Washington, or Missoula, Montana, Missoula is where our Western Division refrigerated um, division is out of, then you would qualify for, could qualify for weekly home time. So if it's something you're interested in, get a hold of us. Let's let's talk 888-668-0698. A good opportunity for weekly home time out of the West. If you live in, I'm going to repeat those again, Missoula, Montana, Kennewick, Washington, Seattle, Washington, and Los Angeles, California. So Awesome, possum. Other than that, you're looking at probably two weeks out. Um, we've got a great combination of miles and pay, and um, that's that combination of the miles and miles pay and home time for the weekly is just in those four locations as of right now. So, all right, very cool. Other than that, it's two weeks out. Miss anything on that one? And. Basically, you know, your, your hiring or your hiring, your running area is going to be more confined on that weekly home time than it would be if you're getting home every two weeks. So no, you probably won't go as far out. You could be going out into the Midwest and, and whatnot, but you're less likely to go as far out because we're going to be able to get you home every week. Okay. All right. Missing anything? Ah, I think it is time to talk um, accessory pay. Let's do it. That's why we're here. Several options, yes. There you go. So let's talk accessory pay. What is accessory pay? Well, it was a big word that I struggled to say, um, but <laughs> other than that, it is um, extra pays. So what else, you know, whatever you might get, you might be paid extra on. A uh, couple examples, detention, layover, breakdown, those are all accessory pays. 
So I'll go through that depending on the division that we're <laughs> that we're looking at. It is not kicking us off, is it, Amy? Oh no. Well, we're here, so we're good. We're live here. Amy's saying that Facebook is kicking us off. We've got it supposed to be streaming over there, but we'll see if it is. <laughs> okay, so that's what assessor will pay is. Um, like I said, pay pay is um, breakdown pay and and layover and detention and anything like that. And those can add up. One of the first questions that we got, one of them we got yesterday on our Facebook Live that I wasn't able to answer because we kept getting kicked off, is how much can that add to your your base pay? You know, how much more can it really do? And it can get an extra four cents a mile cents per mile, I said, not just four cents, four cents per mile um, on average is what that can add to your weekly pay. So it does add up. It can add up. And let's see, let's first talk about our, our Midwestern refrigerated. So this is based out of Fort Dodge, Iowa. That's where our corporate office is. And you're looking at for an experienced driver. And when I say experienced, I'm talking, you know, at least a few months up to you know 20 plus years of experience. So if you're an experienced driver, you're looking at anywhere from 43 to 50 cents a mile in my Midwest refrigerated division, 10 cents of that's going to be per diem. So that is your base, that's your base pay per mile. Now the extra cents per mile can come and it's not paid you know, on a cent per mile basis. That's just, I was just giving you an idea of what it would average out to be. But the layover is going to start at $75 for the first 24 hours. And then for every additional 24 hours, it'll add $100. So you'll get an extra $100 for each subsequent 24-hour period. That's our layover pay. Now, remember, layover is when you don't have a dispatch. So ideally, we want to make sure that you're getting the miles. You're going to do better. You're going to make money. The money is in the miles. And we know that. Um, you know that, but at the same time, we feel that we need to make sure that you're compensated if for some reason we aren't able to get you a load on there. Now, if you're sitting for a couple of days, we're going to probably get you to a different location and get you some miles that way so that you're not sitting. But things come up this time of year. Things definitely come up. Loads get canceled and out of our control, out of your control. And this is just our way to, to protect you um, and your, you know, your financial set up here. So that's what we're doing. Yes, Amy, so far, so good. So that is our Midwest, let's see, Midwest refrigerated. Now that's the layover. Detention is $15 an hour. Now it starts after two hours, $15 an hour. And the, I think the, the max is what, 150? Let me see. Yeah, 150 uh, for a 24 hour period. So that's the max for our detention, but it does it usually pays out on the receiving end, not on the shipping end. So for an example, this is a question we get often. And so that's why we'll address it here. Oops, shaky things. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the For the detention, if you arrived at the, the shipper and you were on time, they didn't get you loaded for, you know, three hours. So you're sitting there for three hours. But yet once you get loaded, you get to your first stop you make it on time, you're, you have an on-time delivery, then there's no detention paid out on that because it didn't cause you to be late. Now, if that's a different circumstance, if you're there for two hours, they, they had scheduled those loads too close, the shipping and the receiving end too close, and that does affect you. So you're looking at um, a, late, a late delivery, then yes, you'll be paid that $15 an hour after those two hours. So if you're, you'll get that extra $15 for that. Um, but again, that's showing because that was detention on their part. So that doesn't show a failure on yours. There we go. Okay, so that is my Midwest refrigerated detention. Now, if another example is if you had multiple stops and you were, you left on, or let's see, maybe you left late, um, you were on time, but you, you left late because of the shipper um, and got to your first load late, but you made your second and your third load, then that is considered on, that's going to be considered on time. You won't have any uh, detention on that either. However, if that's going to affect your second and third load as well as your first, and then if your, your drop dead point is late, then yes, 
that would, in that case, you would be paid the detention based off of, of the hours that you're late. Okay, is that crystal clear? It's a question we get all the time, so I want to make sure we addressed it right up front. Save Darren the, the time, Darren and Jason the time right there. Okay. All right. Also for Midwest Refrigerated, we have, we talked about um, what detention, we talked about layover, um, mechanical breakdown. So mechanical breakdown, um, we have that in place to, well, a couple of different reasons. Obviously, if it's not your fault that the truck is breaking down, we want to make sure that you're being compensated for your time. Um, we do value your time. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have any of this. So let's make sure we take care of you. So the way that our breakdown works is you get, um, what is it, $100 for the first day. So $100 for the first day, $150 for the second, and $200 for the third. The whole idea is to make sure that you are doing a full pre-trip. And if you see something wrong with the truck or trailer or whatever it might be, if you see something mechanically wrong, you need to let your fleet manager know, you need to let the shop know so that we can take care of it. If we don't know about it, we can't take care of it. And then it's going to affect your miles. And like I said before, miles are money to you. Miles are money to us. So we want to make sure that we are getting you the miles and keeping you busy. But at the same time, if your equipment isn't top notch, if it's not being well maintained, you're not going to be able to get the miles because you could break down later on. And this time of year, with the weather changing the way it does, how cold it is, we do not want you stuck in no man's land with a broke down truck. So stay on top of the maintenance. We'll stay on top of the maintenance if you make sure that you're doing your pre-trip, let us know. And then of course that breakdown pay is going to compensate you for your time. Also, um, once you hit, you know, if you're hitting, sitting there for a couple of days and maybe the truck is gonna be longer than expected, we might need to move you out of that truck temporarily to keep you moving. So we're, we're gonna work with you one way or the other to make sure that we can keep getting you those miles and uh, keep you moving. Cool, 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 cool. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, um, you can get a hold of your fleet manager. You can call a recruiter at 888-668-0698. Um, we also, if this is something that you're interested in, if one of these positions also are of interest to you, then go ahead and apply directly at drivedecker.com. Leave any questions in the comment section. Like I said, I'll get to that here momentarily. All right, so what did I miss? Oh, extra stop and pick pay. So for extra stop and pick, you're looking at an extra $15 for any additional drop and picks. And we don't have a ton um, for the most part, but we do have some. Thanks, Todd. So we do have some um, extra drop and picks. If you, we're not counting the first and we're not counting the last. So, you know, your initial pickup and your initial delivery or your in delivery, those aren't included, but anything in between would be. So if you've got three or four, an extra 15 for each one of those. Okay. So that's extra stop pay for refrigerated. Okay. That's our Midwest refrigerated. And like I said, for the short haul, you're looking anywhere from two to 20 cents more per mile for our Midwest refrigerated pay. Okay. Hazmat is an extra $50 per load if you're on any hazmat loads. So we do pay. Now we don't require a hazmat. However, if you have a hazmat and we've got a hazmat load, it's a great opportunity to increase your income a little bit, $50 per load. And trailer washout. I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier, but we pay you for your time. This is one of, this is like really cool to me because I haven't seen it with other companies, but we'll pay you for your time for the washout. So if you're getting it taken care of by a vendor, uh, we'll pay you $10 for the washout. If you're doing a self trailer washout, um, then it will pay you $15. And that'll go, that will go on your pay stub according to the load that it was attached to. So that, that next load. East Coast pay, uh, we do have uh, an additional incentive for East Coast pay. Uh, we don't do a ton of East Coast, but just in case, we have that. Um, anything that basically originates west of the Mississippi and is going east of I-81, that's going to pay an extra $50 per load. So as long as you're taking it, as long as you are picking it up west of the Mississippi and headed 
east of I-81, that's when that $50 is. Now, if you're delivering east of I-81, but it originated north of Virginia, then you'll get an extra $25. So all, all other origins are that way. Very cool. All right. That's our Midwest refrigerated. And if I didn't mention with our Midwest refrigerated, you are also looking at a penny raise after 90 days. If you hire on here in the next few months, it's a penny raise after 90 days and then a penny raise every year on your anniversary until it tops out, which top out right now, the cap is at 55 cents a mile. Um, the, what am I missing? Oh, $5,000 bonus in my Midwest refrigerated. The $5,000 bonus uh, is paid on your one year anniversary in one lump sum. And I don't think there's anything else on that. Oh, there we have, oh my goodness gracious. We have so many bonuses. So we have um, our referral bonus. I like to show this card just because it's pretty. And it's an actual card. <laughs> um, we have our referral bonus and this pays really well. So I know that there's a couple people out there, maybe some teams that make a pretty lucrative side job out of our referral bonus. I mean, what do you do when they're asking you about the company? You might as well make a couple of dollars off of it. So what does it pay? $1,500 for every driver you refer that is hired on. And that pays within 90 days of when they hire on. So that's not very, that's not very much of papers falling here. Um, that's that's not very long to wait for your fifteen hundred dollars. Now, if the more people you refer, the more you get paid per driver you refer. So, if you're referring in this a year's time, maybe you refer four or five drivers, you're going to get two thousand dollars per driver. Again, paid out within ninety days. If you refer six or more within a year's period, then you're going to get paid twenty five hundred dollars per driver, paid out in ninety days. So, fantastic. Um, and that's that's just the monetary bonus. There are other incentives like um, Sirius Radio, they pay to you after two referred drivers in a year. We So we pay for it. All of that is equipped in your truck, but you usually have to have a subscription. Well, we pay for the subscription. Decker will pay for the subscription um, if you refer two or more drivers in a year period. You'll have personalized elite business cards. I was wondering if I had any around me. Um, nice business cards that you can hand out, which makes it a lot easier <laughs> to refer drivers, you just hand them your business card and that way they're less likely to forget your name and, and truck number or anything like that. We have the TransFlow app. So you can send over on the TransFlow the driver's information and then we'll call them and it shows right there who sent it over. So we'll have your truck number and your name on there. So we know who to give credit to. So that's a great way. Calling a recruiter, 888-668-0698 letting them know that you have this person that you want to for us to contact and that they had some questions. That's another way um, to send over the information. You can email us as well. There, there's a lot of different ways that you can get a hold of us and, and do the referral. Referrals are great. Well, referrals are great contacts. Referrals are just a great way to get quality drivers. So the Usually, uh, someone that you that has been referred to is a, a well quali qualified driver. Can't talk. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, but there's more incentives too. So um, you get the the jacket after five referrals. You get a elite uh, team like referral team jacket. Um, we have quarterly drawings. Now those drawings for every every driver that you refer, your name will be put in for a drawing, and that can be. Um, multiple things, um, awards, gift certificates, things like that. And that's quarterly. And then at the end of every year, we have, um, well, right now this year, we've got a $2,500 cash value or $2,500 cash versus a trip to Las Vegas, which is about a $2,500 value. So that's all part of the referral bonus. And I know I got sidetracked a little bit, but it's great opportunity for you to make a little bit extra um, some of you are making a lot extra just off of the referral plan. So continue. That's great. It's good for us. Good for you. Right. And then um, I mentioned the $5,000 bonus. Also, the um, the monthly bonus, it can be an extra four cents a mile for the Midwest refrigerated company side for the 
um, I'll go, go over the lease purchase and owner operator here in a little bit as well. But for the company side, that's going to be an extra, could be an extra four cents a mile. And um, the monthly bonus, the scorecard um, information, kind of see something like this, but it it's you can find it on our website. And that's broke down into what the qualifications are and how it pays out. So for that extra four cents a mile, your idle time is going to your your miles per gallon, your idle time, your um, the number of miles, if you had any claims, service failures, uh, preventable accidents, um, CSA violations, those are all going to factor in on what your your up to four cents a mile bonus could be. So that's your monthly bonus. And uh, we're looking to keep you up there. You get the full four cents a mile if you get a thousand points for the month. And if you get between 950 and 999, here you're looking at three cents more per mile instead of um, your base pay. Um, for 900 to 949, you're gonna look at an extra two cents a mile. And if you're getting 825 to um, 899, you're looking at an extra penny per mile on all the miles you ran that month. So that is what the performance, our monthly performance bonus is. And again, you can, that that's right there is gonna add you an extra, um, could add you an extra four cents a mile. Now this is in addition to all of our other accessorial pays that we have. Um, what else? We have a huge, 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 huge driver of the year program. So every month, um, speaking of driver of the month, we have to congratulate this week's or this week's, this month's driver of the month. But so driver of the month, um, they, if you get driver of the month, you have an opportunity to win driver of the year. Driver of the year gets another bonus in addition to what they got for driver of the month, which are usually gift certificates, um, um, visa gift cards, things like that. Uh, West driver of the, let's see, our Western driver of the month was Patrick Corrigan. So congratulations. Anthony Vasquez for our flatbed um, out of, and then our Midwest refrigerated, Ben Abbey. And our owner operator for lease purchase, Telly Montanis. Montanez, excuse me, I can't read my own writing. I should type things. Um, and our team, Robert and Stephanie Stocking. So sorry, Telly, can't read my own handwriting. It's terrible. So congrats to you guys for driver of the month. Um, so that is for October's driver of the month. And in addition to that opportunity, they can be chosen for driver of the year. And driver of the year for every division they, they'll get uh, $5,000 cash. Last year, they got $5,000 cash for each of those winners. And then the top dog, the Grand Poobah, the great prize was a choice between a brand new Harley Davidson, a brand new car, or the equivalent in cash. So those are huge right there, but there's more to that. Uh, <laughs> Even though you have the option for all of those, for, for either the uh, Harley Davidson, the car, or the cash, you you know, sometimes when you win things, it can be more of a burden than a win. And Mr. Decker makes sure that it is completely a win by taking care of all of the taxes that may be occurred during that as well. So he covers all of that, which is fantastic. Um, very exciting. So, you know, like that's just one more opportunity that Decker provides. And speaking of games and prizes, does this look familiar to anybody? You guys can get a copy of this at any of our terminals. So for any of our Decker drivers who haven't already submitted this, you need to go ahead and do that because you only have a short time left. What do you have a week and a half left? So what this is, is our over and out blackout. This is our scavenger hunt bingo game for you out on the road and a chance to win up to $500 in cash. So we have three winners. We have a $100 prize. We have a $250, $250 prize, and we have a $500 prize. And the winner will be announced by the 12th of December. And the submissions, however, have to be in by the 30th of November. So if you do not have your submissions in yet, Get them in. How do you do this? Okay, you email all of the pictures 
So you're going to have to send a picture in for each square. Okay. This one's going to be represented by you and a pre-trip, a safe pre-trip, of course. Um, you and a family member, uh, you at your, you and another Decker driver, you at one of our Decker terminals, you ex either experiencing or doing a good deed or <laughs> watching a good deed, um, you at a historical landmark uh, or like a historical site, a landmark of any site that you want. Um, be creative, you guys. Um, you and a pet or an animal, you and exercise, nope, you and a hobby, you and exercise, um, some sort, like I said, be creative. Um, be it creative, but be appropriate. Anything that you submit, you're submitting with the understanding that you will be, um, that it could be posted on our Facebook page or our social media. So keep that in mind, please. And what else am I missing here? You and your favorite sports team. We know you guys have them. You and your fleet manager. Let's get a smiling pic of them. And you with your tractor at either your favorite truck stop or coffee shop, whatever it might be, wherever your favorite stop is. So like I said, be creative, have fun with it. Chance to win up to $500 in cash, paid you before Christmas. What better timing? <laughs> and I hope you have fun with it because this is this is awesome. Um, I was totally jacked about it. But get your submissions into marketing at deckermail.com. So email us and we will go ahead and, um, and share that on our Facebook. And the winner will announce, like I said, before the 12th. Yes, so the winners are based off of not only accuracy of all of these squares, making sure that you have each and every one of them covered, but also off your creativity. So, all right, if you have any questions, get a hold of me, 888-668-0698. You can get a hold of any of the recruiters and they can help answer some of those questions for you. Okay, so awesome. That is our overnight blackout. So we covered a lot of stuff for our Midwest Refrigerated. Our over-the-road refrigerated out of Missoula, Montana, is um, basically has a lot of the same information. You know, $50 for every hazmat load if you get on a hazmat. Again, we don't require hazmat, but we, if you get on a hazmat load, um, we will pay you an extra $50 for that. Okay, detention, that's going to start after two hours. It's $15 an hour, tops out at $150. And again, um, making sure that you're on time if you if it affects your on-time delivery, that's when you're getting paid out that detention time. Layover um, starts at $75, goes up in $100 increment, or goes up uh, an additional $100 for every subsequent 24-hour period. So following every 24-hour period. And uh, stop pay, an additional $15 for every additional stop or pick that you might get on. Um, trailer washout still applies, $10 if you're going to a vendor for a washout, $15 if you're doing a self washout. East Coast pay, same thing, $50 if it originates out in the West and you head up east of I-81. Um, $25 if it originates um, north of Virginia, or excuse me, yeah, originates north of Virginia but goes east of I-81. There we go. I'm following my little guidelines there. <laughs> and for short haul pay for the Western Refrigerated, if um, if you do get it on anything that's less than 400 miles, you're going to be getting somewhere between seven cents to 25 cents more per mile. And that's in addition to your base. Now, the base, I don't think I mentioned earlier, but for an experienced driver, anything for, you know, a couple like three months or more um, to 20 plus can be anywhere from 41 cents to 48 cents a mile to start off with. Now that's just your base. You do get a penny raise after 90 days and a penny raise every year on your anniversary, which will cap out at 52 cents a mile. Uh, you'll have the $5,000 bonus on your one year anniversary as long as you run the 110,000 miles for the refrigerated division. So lots of opportunity. Referral bonus is still available. The monthly bonus, which can get you an extra four cents a mile. We talked about that. That's still available to you. The um, monthly bonus, I said that. The referral bonus, what am I missing? Um, so lots of opportunity for increased pay. And that can get you an additional, you know, an average of four cents more per mile on all the miles you rent. And that's, you know, that at least is what we've been seeing. So that's a great opportunity for you guys to, to increase your, your income on a weekly basis. You get paid every Friday, direct deposit. Um, everything that you get in by Saturday night is gonna be paid on by Friday, the following Friday. What else am I missing? Breakdown, breakdown um, is $100, 150 after 
um, second 24 hours and 200 after the third 24 hour period. So um, we take care of you with our breakdown pay as well. Obviously you're gonna make more miles running or you're gonna make more money running miles. There we go, whoop, but <laughs> it's there. We're gonna take care of you. So that is my refrigerate or those are my refrigerated divisions. Am I missing anything in the chat? I'm doing a lot of talking. I'm hoping that I'm giving you guys a lot of information and you can retain it. <laughs> Got some quiet people. Very cool. Well, let's talk about flatbed. Uh, the flatbed division. Um, actually, before we talk about flatbed, um, we do have, like I said, the, we have this Lamar's run. And that one, you can get an extra four cents a mile off of the bonus as well for the monthly bonus. Um, the sign-on bonus, however, is $2,500 and $1,000 of it is paid on your first dispatch. And the other $1,500 is going to be paid to you at $250 for the next six months. So that's our Lamar's dedicated home daily position that has that sign-on bonus. And with that one, you, you won't probably have the detention or layover or mechanical breakdown or, or short haul pay. Well, at least detention and layover and short haul pay, you won't have for that because you'll just keep moving and we'll keep you with a vehicle, uh, keep you with a truck. <laughs> Same with our council bluffs, Iowa, um, Omaha division. Um, we don't have the, you won't have the detention or, or layover or anything with that because that is on a dedicated and they're gonna just keep you moving. Um, with that Lamar's, it is drop and hook. It is drop and hook. So, um, and with the, um, which one am I thinking in with the council bluffs? That one is I'm trying to think of how much drop and hook that one is. It's going to be live unload deliveries, um, but they're going to be preloaded trailers. So again, that one's the night driving and home weekly. Yep. That's going to also have a $5,000 bonus though. And that's going to be paid to you on your one year anniversary. But I did want to kind of touch base on the accessory pay for those. All right. Hi, Tanya. So other than that, um, the assessor will pay for my for the lease purchase on owner operators for the refrigerated division. That one's going to pay 100% um, for the multiple stop and picks, and that could be up to $60. So that's for the assessor will pay for the lease purchase and owner operators in the refrigerated divisions. Also, we've got um, the lumpers are completely covered and detention, you know, any of those reconsignments, the detention and whatnot, that's going to be paid to you at 75% of the load. Now with my flatbed, since we're talking lease purchase right now, before I get into my flatbed divisions, um, with the lease purchase and owner operator for a flatbed, you're paid 72% of the load on the loads. So that is all figured in on the flatbed side. For the accessory pay is all figured in with the um, flatbed. However, um, that one pays percentage where my refrigerated, that one is paying mileage. So it's a dollar a mile plus the fuel surcharge on all dispatch miles loaded and empty. So you're looking at the um, accessory, like I said, is pays out at 75%. Cool, cool. All right, so let's talk more about the flatbed opportunities and how, like what those accessory pays are. Um, first off, for the Midwest and, um, yeah, for my, both my Midwest flatbed and my over-the-road flatbed, over-the-road is based out of Bessemer, Alabama. Sometimes we refer to it as our southern flatbed, but it's really our coast, more coast-to-coast. -coast. Um, it's over-the-road. And that one's going to pay anywhere from 47 to 50 cents a mile, uh, 51 cents a mile for experienced drivers. Again, experience is gonna be qualifying you if you have at least three months of over the road experience. So again, anywhere from 47 to 51 cents a mile for flatbed. Um, and you can make an extra three cents or so more on average with all of our accessory pay. And that's gonna include your extra stop pay, which is gonna be $25 for any additional stop or pick. Um, your tarping and securing, we've raised that to $20 for um, $20 for tarping, $20 for untarping. Um, and $20 if you, if you take an empty trailer to the loaded origin and tarp and secure it. So that's going to be covered on all that. Yes, yes, tarping pay on all, tarping and untarping. 
There you go. Um, same thing with the uh, loads, like our East Coast pay. You're going to get $50 more if you start west of the Mississippi and deliver east of I-81. If you are starting north of Virginia and delivering east of I-81, then that's going to be an extra $25. Job site delivery pay is an additional $25 for our flatbed divisions. Okay. Um, um, what's the word I want? Hazmat. That's the word I want. Hazmat is going to pay $85, $85 for any hazmat loads that we have. And um, that is, that does not mean that we require hazmat. We don't require a hazmat license. However, if you have it and we've got a hazmat low, that's a great opportunity for you to make a little bit extra right there. Okay. Layover is still $75. Um, so like I said, it's just like the refrigerated $75 after the first 24 hours goes up a hundred dollars um, every 24. So you get an extra hundred dollars each 24 hour period. Um, same with the breakdown, that's going to be consistent with the Midwest and the over the road refrigerated. It's $100 for the first day, $200 for this, or $150 for the second day, and $200 for the third day. Um, and then we're making sure we, we're getting that equipment out and top of the line, well maintained. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Oh, um, any cross Chicago loads for a flatbed, we're going to get you an extra $40 for any cross Chicago loads. And we definitely have some of those. Um, so that's a, that's another incentive there. Extra pay, extra pay for that. And the pay per mile for, oh, we've got um, guaranteed pay, guaranteed flatbed. Um, I should have brought this up with my guaranteed refrigerated. Now the assessoral pay is figured in on the guaranteed pay, whether it's $13.50 for flatbed or $12.50 for refrigerated. That is actually figured in on those pays. However, um, if you're, the number of miles that you run exceeds what you would have gotten at $13.50 or the $12.50 for the refrigerated, um, then you're going to get the better of the two. You'll get the pay per mile times the miles. You'll also get the accessory pay when it applies in that point. But if you're only getting that guaranteed pay, that base of the $12.50 or the $13.50, then it's going to be factored in on that. Does that make sense? I hope I said that well enough so everybody could understand. But that guaranteed pay, is, for the most part, is going to include it unless you exceed what that guaranteed pay is. And then it will be in addition to that. There you go. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, and any... Um, um, any short haul, short haul pay for flatbed, if it's anything less than $75 or 75 miles, you're going to get an extra $20. I think I mentioned that, didn't I? Okay. If not, I mentioned it now. Yep, yep, yep. Um, we have our dedicated DOT inspections. That's another thing I didn't mention. Um, yes, Tanya, I know. Love the extra money. Love it when we're giving it away. Makes you feel good. <laughs> not giving it away. You are earning it. Well deserved. Um, what else did I miss? I missed, oh, DOT inspections. You get $50 for clean DOT inspections. Gotta love clean CSA scores. Another good reason to always do a pre trip, besides it's a law. Um, do a pre trip uh, so that you have those clean inspections coming through. Love that. And to keep your truck well maintained. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Semi dedicated van. Now we've got that opportunity as well. That's going to be uh, very similar to my Midwest refrigerated when it comes to the pay. It's still 43 to 50 cents a mile um, for the base. That's the base pay. You've got the extra four cents a mile for the monthly bonus, the $5,000 up to four cents a mile, excuse me, the $5,000 on your one year anniversary. You do need to run 110,000 miles for that one. You've got um, the short haul pay anywhere from two to 20 cents more per mile for the Midwest or Midwest semi-dedicated van. Whew. Um, $15 for every extra drop and pick. And um, the, in addition to those, now with the Midwest van, I didn't mention this earlier, but really what you're doing is you're running a lot of, um, a lot of I-80. Anywhere from Lincoln, Nebraska to uh, Gary, Indiana, in right along I-80. 
that'll get you home on a weekly basis. And if you live in Fort Wayne, get you home on a weekly basis. We do also hire for that position in Athens, Georgia, in, um, is it Hartlett, Georgia, and um, Anderson, South Carolina. Um, I'm missing one location. What's my other location? <laughs> oh, gee. What's my other location? Hartwell. It is Hartwell. Yeah. And St. Joe, Missouri. So St. Joe, Missouri is my other option. Um, those will get you home every two weeks. So Hartwell, Georgia, Athens, Georgia, um, Anderson, South Carolina, um, Greenville, South Carolina, I forgot that one, and St. Joe, Missouri. There we go. So those will get you home every two weeks. Whereas if you live along I-80 from Lincoln to Gary, Indiana, plus Fort Wayne, Indiana, that's going to get you home on a weekly basis. Okay. That being said, back to the assessor will pay for it. It pays an extra two to 20 cents more per mile on the short hauls for it. Um, it is a $15 for extra drop and pick. Uh, detention time is still $15. Um, if, if the detention time is paid, usually on the receiving end. So if you are late for the delivery, and that was caused because of the shipper, that's when you're getting paid that, that uh, detention time. Okay. And it's $15 after two hours, $15 an hour. Uh, cop, cops tops out at $150 for a 24 hour period. But we have layover. Um, layover starts at $75 and will go up. Um, you'll get an extra $100 for every 24 hours that you're doing. So um, that's for a layover breakdown. You'll get uh, starting at $100 for the first day, $150 for the second, $200 for the third. And East Coast pay, like I said, anything east of or west originates west of the Mississippi, delivers east of I-80 is going to be $50. Anything that originates north of Virginia and delivers east of I-80, 81, east of I-81, did I say that right, is going to be $25. I'm going to back up, make sure I said that, that first one right. If it originates west of the Mississippi and delivers north of or east of I-81, there we go, that's going to pay you $50. Okay. Um, again, $50 for the DOT inspection. Um, you're not going to have washouts, so that's not going to be a problem. That's not going to be factored in. I think that's it. And we have that Hammond dedicated one. We have the Hammond dedicated van position. Um, that one pay for clean inspections. We don't pay for detention or layover on that one because it's dedicated. That customer is going to keep you busy. That one we didn't talk about um, really, but that one is going to get you home um, every other day and on every other day. And then um, it's basically... I believe it's four days on. Got to get back to you on that one. Um, Anna, with with that Hammond one, I kind of paused there. Was that one a? It is it is home every other day? Yep. And so the, your your weekends, your days off will probably rotate. So it's not necessarily on the weekend, is what I was getting at. And I'm right there. And it is um, definitely some wiggle room on this on your schedule so usually it's it's 9 a.m it's a 12 hour shift so it's 9 a.m to 9 p.m or 9 p.m to 9 a.m but um a little bit of wiggle room because sometimes the loads are done a little are ready a little early sometimes they're ready for you a little bit later and that's why we ask for flexibility on them but they're drop and hook um for the most part and there might be some live live unloads depending on you know the demands but it is it's a busy position. So that's out of Hammond, Indiana. Got a lot out of Hammond, Indiana. We also have a dedicated um, opportunity that's a flatbed that gets you home daily. It pays per load. So you get $100 for the first load and $125 for the second load uh, in a day. So that one's going to get you home daily. Runs, you know, uh, basically, basically from Hammond, Indiana to East Chicago, back to Hammond, maybe back to East Chicago, maybe to Southern Wisconsin. Um, so yes, yes, so many options, many, many options, but great opportunities for home time. They've worked really, really hard to get you good home time options with great pay, um, consistency, you know, consistency is hard in this industry and you know it. 
and we are determined to find you the most consistent option. So, yes. Um, trying to think. I think we pretty much covered it. I felt like I sped through everything. So hopefully you guys have all of your questions answered. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you can get a hold of any of the recruiters for specific details on your hiring area where you live. It's 888-668-0698 um, for the direct telephone number. You can apply directly. If any of these positions are what you're looking for, then you need to get your application in so we can work on getting you approved for the position. It's 888-668-0698 or drivedecker.com. And if you are not already subscribed to us, do that. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel right now just by clicking subscribe. Also follow us on Facebook because one way or the other, we will give you this information. If it's on Facebook, we'll be determined to make sure that it works and same with YouTube. So thankfully we have both avenues. Facebook was giving us a very difficult time yesterday. And um, I this information is important. You guys need to know what accessible pay is. You need to know all of the different opportunities that you have for earning um, additional income with Decker. And this is our best way to, to give that information out to you is, is uh, through our videos. So Facebook, you can follow us there. Please do. It's facebook.com backslash detail inc. Let me put that in here so that you have it. Facebook. Detail Inc. Very cool. So that's our Facebook. And then, of course, you can subscribe to us here on YouTube as well so that you can get all of our information. So what is next week? We are talking. i got to look at my schedule here. Next week, we'll be talking about safety. Tis the season to be worried about safety. So as always, we'll be talking about safety and some of our, our equipment that we have on our trucks. Um, we've got smart drive on all of our trucks. We've got APUs on all of our trucks, um, onboard scanners and, and, uh, they're really well equipped, but safety is a priority with us. Um, so safety, that's why maintenance is such a big deal. If you're not on top of the maintenance, it could be a huge safety issue. So, um, there is on our Facebook or on our YouTube channel, um, there is a video, um, from a couple of weeks ago when we went we talked about preparing for the winter, preparing for the weather, and just some safe tactics on that. So if you haven't already got a copy of that free report, then a free checklist, then make sure you go do that. You can get that on our Facebook, both our Facebook and our YouTube. Might be a little easier to find on our YouTube. Okay, cool. Well, I hope I answered your guys' questions. If not, um, like I said, get a hold of one of the recruiters, 888-668-0698. Oh, yes. Thank goodness. Let's fix this. I see that on my our YouTube, YouTube, our Facebook, I spelled YouTube wrong. That's what I get for typing while I'm talking. <laughs> All right. Excellent. 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 All right. You guys have a great week. Happy Thanksgiving. I didn't even tell anybody that. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. And um, we'll see you Monday. We'll talk about safety. We'll get you on track for this um, holiday Christmas season, right? Yes, yes, indeedy. Have a great rest of your week. Thanks, you guys.